the Joe Rogan experience? It's just me, you know, like with this point system, this and that. I try. I always try to finish fights no matter what. Even if you're the best guy in the world, I'm going to try to finish you. And you always going to see me in your face. I'm not going to go away because that's just it, you know. Like if I, if we fought to death, like if there's no time limit, I'm good, like I'm going to kill you. Like that's just my mindset. Like there's no way. I'm going to figure out a way to make you tired and it make you quit. And when you quit, you know, you know, may peace be with you to the next one. But <laughs> at the end of the day, that's what it is. That's why you, you should be in that moment because if you're fresh and stuff, everybody can be the greatest fresh. But there's the special ones that know how to figure it out when they're not there. Like when you're tired and you're dead tired, you got to go that one more round, the extra minute, you figure things out. And, and that's, what, that's what separates the greats from the greatest, you know? That's, mm. just the, that's just the difference, I think. Well, that's always been a, a real signature of your fighting style is your your endurance and your confidence in your endurance. So you could push through. Like, I'll never forget the rematch with Aldo. when Right before the second round, you came over to us and, the, and you went, the man's tired. <laughs> I'll never forget that. He's tired. But you were, was, you were hyped up. It was, up. Fun. You it was felt funny because I, I, I felt him going already. And then when I came down, when I came by you, and I was like, the man's tired. Because I knew, I, I was like, this guy's done. He's done. And he came out. I remember he came out fast. He came out fast with like a straight right, left hook. And I was like, whoo. I was like, maybe he might not be. But, we, <laughs> uh, but we're going to find out right now. And then I pushed it a little bit more. And I was like, okay, yeah. That, yeah, that was a little smoke screen. He just, yeah. that, that's what he had left from the little minute he got to, he got to rest, you know? He couldn't fight that. His style is so explosive. Yeah. He couldn't fight that way with you. Yeah. I mean, that was a perfect example is of how it, I, styles yeah. make fights. I like what you said. I like what you said. Like, I went in a dog fight knowing that I'm going to come out of the dog fight. Like, yeah. that. I'm going to bring the fight to him. And that's what that's what, that's what what we knew, you know. Yeah. I, I knew that I you had... You forced him into I a wild said, yeah, fight. I, I knew that if I got into a couple of slugs with him, every time I went, every time I came out, my battery would probably drop 2%, but he's dropping like 30. Why is that? I just... The dude is genetically gifted with power. <laughs> mm. With power, you know, and I knew, I knew, I, I knew that I was in it. I was in it for a long game. And if you watch his last, his, uh, a lot of his fights, I, I got to. That's the cool thing about him. Like I got to watch, I got to watch him when I was sixteen. I've been watching him for sixteen, and now I got to face this guy. Like I always told myself, like even before I was in MMA, I was like, I want to kickbox this guy. If I could fight him for five rounds, I'd, I, can't, I could beat him in a kickboxing match. That's just what I told myself, you know. Uh, that's just the belief you need to be great, you know, mm -hmm. and, and keep pushing. And because so, you just watch him, you you can just see him get tired over time, you know. After right. the, he win the first three rounds, fort fit, he just coasted. Yeah, yeah. The the gifted with powers, so true. Because those guys who are gifted with power, power rarely have the kind cardio. Of the same. Yeah, cardio. yeah. yeah. Exactly. Like there's there's a lot of guys there that I just think like, gosh, I wish I had your power. If I could just have. Give me two percent of your power. Right, <laughs> I would love that, you know. But and and we work, you know. I'm working for it. I'm trying. I'm trying to get it. But just like just God given, like this is different. Like there's some guys, this God given power. They just touch your chin, boom. Yeah, people but there's something to be said for the kind of endurance and the style that you have. That style of constant pressure. But I, I like this. Uh, uh, my style and stuff. Like I like it because like when you do knock out someone. They can always be like, oh, he just caught me. You know, like with the Aldo and stuff, the first one, that's what they were saying. They was like, yeah, Max, you was losing the first couple rounds, but you just caught him. So the second time we did it back, we run it, like, we run it back, and I had to do what I had to do. You know, I wanted to show everybody, look, I'm here for real. But that's why I like my style. Everybody's like, yeah, you do good. But I'm like, and what? Like if you knock out somebody, like catch them early in the round, say five seconds in, knock them out, you can be like, yeah, you just caught a lucky punch. Even if it was the most calculated punch in the world, you know, even like with the Connor thing, like, that's just a lucky punch. It's not a lucky punch. You know, Connor's in the back practicing it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, you see, it wasn't a lucky punch, but people are going to keep telling them, no, it landed, it's lucky, blah, blah, blah. So it's always going to be whatever, you know, over your head, whatever. But the way I fight and stuff, I just want to just outclass you in every single way that I possibly can and show the world, like, look, you want to you wanna wrestle? Yeah. Try and get me there. You want to do jiu-jitsu? Yeah, take me down. Let's see Let's see if you can get me there first. And then if you want to do the striking thing, yeah, let's do it. You know, I just want to show the world that, look, I'm better than you in every aspect. So, like, mentally, that, that just screws with someone, you know? Do you think that a guy that has the kind of power that Aldo has can ever have the kind of endurance that you have? 
For sure, you know, they but they have then, to fight different. Yeah, for sure, you know, but in their back in their back pocket, it's just tough because sometimes when those guys' mindsets, I feel like with the guys who get knockout, who has knockout power, their mindsets they turn to like, they turn to like, I just gotta land this. Yep. So so that's why, and then and then you get tired in there, like, because yeah. then you mentally fatiguing yourself because you're thinking about like. Oh shit! Uh, I I'm having bad. No, now now I just change it. I got to turn, and then now you start thinking, you start getting tense, you start looking for that one shot, you start missing that shot, mm -hmm. and like even when I fought Aldo, you was calling a lot. Of, look, look, he's like he's whiffing. Like yeah. you, when you miss a punch and your body goes with it, it's tough. It's tough Very to recover. Tiring. It's like yeah. oh my gosh, Exhausting. and then and then you don't put in the the extra five percent that might get you more tired because you're thinking like why. Like, I just missed. Where is right. this kid? You know? Yeah. Like, what does he do? And then I'm back right on you, you know? So, or or anybody. Like, they're back in your face. Like, oh, I'm here, you know? Knock, knock. Hello. You thought I left? No, I'm right well, here. That's <laughs>